What's up everybody, my name is Garrett, and welcome to the cage. We are back in Calvino Noir on the PS4. Now you might be wondering, Garrett, why aren't you already in game? Well, I closed out and came back into it, and um, there's a progress tab. I wanted to show you guys this. So it looks like that money that we've been finding on occasion, uh, we can actually spend on things? I... The, I guess I didn't think this was going to be a thing. So now he's a little bit quieter and a little bit faster. I don't know. Um, we'll see what happens. So it's going to go and resume. So we left off um, right after uh, was Arno locked himself in the the uh, cooling room and the place is up in flames. So we're trying to escape the actual plant itself. Oh, go, 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 go. Do a loop de loop here. Ha ha. Look at that. We tricked him. Wow, there are a lot of guards going on here. Huh. So I think my best bet is to take the ladder down when he starts going. No, oh, that's a way to go. Oh. Oh, crap. He's coming. <laughs> this isn't a way to go. It's not going to get me anywhere with dead. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Go up. Oh, crap. Keep going up. Oh, that, there's no door down there either. So I'm totally going to have to time it right here. I didn't notice there were no doors on the sides. Maybe if I can get him to come upstairs... There we go. Like butter. Outside, the factory's fleeing workers gather in the lower courtyards downhill, marshaled by Torvik's confident, booming voice. Siska coughs and hacks as her lungs expel the noxious fumes. She staggers off, pausing for a final, desperate look at the door of the burning building. But Arno is nowhere to be seen. She turns again, and soon her form is swallowed in the encroaching darkness. All right, well, let's use the phone here. Siska fidgets with the phone's Got receiver. Got that first one waiting impatiently for her call to be answered. Finally, the ringing stops. Someone picks up, but Siska hears only breathing. Whoever's on the other end of the line says nothing. Wilt, I... I thought it'd be you. Wilt, I'm sorry. I waited and waited. Anna was a grown man. He made his choices. It has nothing to do with you or me. 
I thought you'd be angry, or at least upset. Once again, you've made the mistake of assuming I cared. Arno told me about Passau, about what happened to you in the war. I know that you haven't always been cold, like now. A lot can happen in a few years, kid. I bet you think you'll never end up like me. At first, I thought you seemed like a selfish man, but now I know that's not true. Selfish people at least care about themselves. Even that is more than you're capable of. Arno was different. Despite everything, I think he still wanted, needed to care about something. That a fact? How'd that work out for him? Was it worth it? Did it achieve anything? Randain are stronger than ever. Even without Ignez, they've got complete control of the city. Now they've secured an exclusive contract to manage the city's security. The municipal police have been disbanded. There are Randain guards on every corner. That's why we need your help. Moritz has agreed to join us too. Destroying machines is not enough. Help us to strike at those that control them. But the connection goes dead before Siska can finish. Not surprising. I mean... Alright. Let's get moving. Seen a lot of flashlights going on here. What's this down here? Why would this be locked? Hidey hole spot. Okay. Well, that doesn't do me any good. I have to wait for the guard to come back. Okay. One head up. Oh, hold on here, we got a point to look at. The streets are deserted, but for the prowl of slick heeled soldiers. Their uniforms are without official insignias. Siska knows they're agents of Randane's quest power. I don't know if I can get through. There's two guards. There's one. There was a flashlight up, and there was a flashlight below. I wonder if I could hide here. And scoot past him, maybe? Maybe I can get up further? Yeah, because look, there's... An, oh my god, that guard goes up, too! Okay, let's try this, see what happens here. Okay, what's this guy's plan? Okay, he goes to there. Okay. So far, so good. It's not at all what I wanted. Oh, nice. That would have been good to know. So this is the guy that punched Wilt at the very beginning to get the plans. Oh, I see what I have to do. 
So, obviously we have to go up to the next floor, but do it at the right time. So you should cut back, right? As we come back down. Okay, he's cutting back. There we go. Notices have been posted along the wall. Their message simple, but stern. Security notice. Observe full curfews outside prescribed hours. These measures are in place to safeguard resident populations. Your security is paramount. The footnote reads, this guidance has been jointly issued by the Office for Cooperation Management and the Initiative for Citizen Behavioral Retraining. Nice. Thank you for agreeing to come. Are you sure you want to be here? There's nowhere else for me to be. We're going to Randane's propaganda office. It's heavily guarded, but I think it's our best chance of finding Torvik. I need to know you're committed to this. Siska. I spent years hating Ignaz for what he did to my father, for what he did to my family. I thought that if I could somehow ruin him, then things would be different. Now he's gone and things are even worse. I hate them all. Those that sweep us aside like ants. Let me help you get rid of them. What did Ignaz do to your father? Nothing out of the ordinary, I suppose. He just did his job. My father served him as a clerk in the town hall for 24 years. But when he became sick and couldn't serve any longer, Minister Rael had very little sympathy. My father couldn't work, so we couldn't afford his medicines. We asked Ignaz for help many times, but received nothing. My father was buried that autumn. Afterwards, we got a letter of condolence from Ignaz's office full of false sympathy and understanding, offering me the same post which my father had vacated. Now Ignaz is gone, but they still treat people like dirt. Last week, they removed all the former clerks and replaced them with Randane's associates. I'm sorry to hear that. Let's get moving. The main entrance of the propaganda offices is heavily guarded. It will be safer to get in via the roof. We can reach it through the old opera house next to the offices. Okay, I'll scout ahead. The guards don't know my face, so I'll be able to move freely until we reach the offices. I'm not the servant. Alright, well this is interesting. Really? Just three foot in front of me and we should be both here for this? I mean... <laughs> A canvas banner hangs above the opera house doors, bearing a large capital R and a flowering black rose whose roots twist around a bloody red heart. Be careful, there may be guards in here. Rendane used this building to rehearse their rallies and speeches. Let's find a way onto the roof. Yes, yes. So I, sh I can move freely, it says. Invisible to guards. Okay. Interesting. Okay, I mean... Boy, oh boy, this is going to be a rough one. <laughs> Let's take a look at this underground way. There's going to be a lot of hiding in this. A lot of good timings, a lot of hiding. But the, the underground way is about the only positive. There's a lot of hiding spots, you can tell. They want you to go this way.
Let's go ahead and get him up to the access on, on upstairs. Might as well get him all the way there since nothing really affects him. Oh, oh. What about that? Can I, I can, can I get across that? I bet I can. Let's try this. This looks a lot safer. Nope, not safe at all. Nope. God dang it. <laughs> Actually, it doesn't look... Uh, yeah, it looks like I have to cut all the way up and around. Woo. Okay. Not the, not the way to go. Not the way to go. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. I think we're going to pause it there and pick it up in the next one just because of time. A canvas yeah, yeah, I know we know. So... We'll see how it goes. For sure, everybody, for watching, thank you so much. If you can, give the video a like. It does help us out quite a bit. Also, check out the channel, because we have tons of videos going on over there. Until next time, you guys, stay frosty.